the topic of this lesson is uh, what are prompt generators so what is a prompt generator the concept of a prompt generator is very simple it's a text that generates a prompt in terms of prompt engineering of course but in other words even more correctly said a prompt generator is a prompt that generates a prompt so simple as that uh, it can be anything like um, so let's say give me a list of tasks for a, um, let's say for a social media marketer and here i will get this list of tasks for a social media marketer and let's see what the actual list is so we have develop a social media strategy create a comprehensive plan to achieve the company's goals including target audience analysis content themes and growth tactics or we have um, content scheduling or monitor and analyze performance social listening um content creation so let's take this this example this task this this prompt the first prompt the initial prompt here is a prompt generator because all of these examples that are, are actually possible future prompts if i take this for example and i input it in uh, um into chat gpt ChatGPT will simply um, develop this or it will do this task. It will achieve this task. So um, this one is, for example, it's more in, it's more abstract. It doesn't need a lot of context, a lot of details. So develop around a social media contest or promotion uh, promotions to increase engagement, attract new followers and drive sales. Uh, I will stop generating this and I will send this uh, prompt to ChatGPT. let's see so as you can see uh, i didn't come up with this prompt this prompt is just has just been taken from uh from here so this initial prompt could be called a prompt generator because it helped me generate a list of prompts of possible prompts and then i used one of those to as an actual prompt um uh, so Pretty much that's it. That's what a prompt generator is, and you can use it in for various uh, for various reasons, uh, especially if you want to have some uh, structures or if you let's say don't have any creativity right now to come up with a complex and detailed and specific prompt. So if you don't want to do that, you can use a prompt generator, and that should do the job. Uh, now, this is only the introduction of what prompt or of what a prompt generator is. Uh, we'll continue to generate some more usable, some uh, more practical prompt generators. In the past lesson, we've discussed about what is a prompt generator. Now, let's actually go even deeper and let's uh, let's generate or let's come up with some uh, simple prompt generators that are more useful than what we came up with uh, in the last example so um things are actually very simple you want a prompt for ChatGPT. that's what you should ask for so i will tell ChatGPT to generate a prompt for ChatGPT that would help me to let's say let's think of a task so what should the task be about well, uh, that would help me to create an engaging trailer script for a future uh, or for an upcoming movie. I don't know. So generate a prompt for ChatGPT that would help me to create an engaging trailer script for an, up for an upcoming movie. And now I will hit enter. Just keep in mind that um, I didn't add a lot of details in here. I just told ChatGPT something really short that doesn't have a lot of context. I mean, I don't say what the 
movies about because I don't know. I just came up with this idea on the go. So um, here we go. This is a prompt generator and here we have our prompt which we can go ahead and input into the box, the input box. So the prompt goes as following. Write an engaging trailer script for an upcoming movie that effectively teases the film's most exciting and emotional, emotionally resonant moments. Introduces the main characters and their stakes uh, and captures the unique tone and genre. Be sure to incorporate a tagline that encapsulates the movie's core theme and emphasizes viewers to see the film. Um, and I mean, you can copy this in here. And if for the sake of this exercise, let's say we will add some more context. The film is a documentary about the lives of penguins in Antarctica. And here we go. Heart of Ice, the Penguin Chronicles. Interesting. And we go with um, the actual script. And this is just it. I mean, it's very simple, very easy to do. You can come up with amazing prompts for what you want. So what you have to do is tell ChatGPT what is the expected outcome you want and ask it to generate a prompt for ChatGPT. And who knows how to write better prompts than ChatGPT? Right, so um, ChatGPT is the best prompt engineer in the world, uh, and therefore you can get whatever you want. So I was, I, I just wasn't specific enough because I mean I came up with this idea, and actually look what I got. It's something really, really good. Like from a shitty prompt, I got this, which is amazing. And here we have everything that we needed to have, right? So what else could you ask for? Uh, so I suggest you go ahead and try this technique on your own to generate prompts using this. We're using other prompts, basically. You generate prompts with prompts. So you get a better prompt based on a not so good prompt. And uh, your initial prompt should just state what the output you desire to get. And ChatGPT 4 especially, because ChatGPT 3.5 does the same, but not so good. So ChatGPT 4 will generate you something that you wanted, but not written. Basically, uh, it, it, it adds those details, that context, that you kind of uh, say you want within your prompt, but are not so specific about. So just look here. Um write an engaging trailer that teases, effectively teases the film's most exciting, emotionally resonant moments. I didn't ask for that, but ChatGPT knows that a trailer should have these moments. It also says what the trailer should, should uh, include. So, it's amazing. Just go ahead and try it on your own. We are going to learn how to generate complex prompts. Uh, in uh, the past lesson, you've learned how to generate uh, prompts that, uh, you know, I mean, those are simple prompts. Those are one-time usage prompts. Now, complex prompts are mainly those that can be reused in various contexts. What do I mean by that? Well, let's dive in a bit deeper this time. I will start my prompt with the topic. YouTube um, gaming channel, uh, let's say, content create or YouTube gaming channel, right? So, task. Um, you should generate a list of prompts that could be used in ChatGPT for various reasons um, in the limits of the topic. An example of a problem, a potential prompt should solve, could be, or is, um, to generate content ideas. And I will add a parenthesis, a set of parentheses here to say that the prompts should not be or should 
um, solve multiple problems related to the topic, to the initial topic. All right, so here we have the very detailed task, but this is still not going to give us uh, this is still not going to give us a complex prompts because as i said a complex prompt is a prompt you can use in um basically various scenarios and this uh, this prompt will give us uh, a set of prompts a list of prompts but those prompts individually could be used uh, for one scenario right so uh, if i would hit enter this time uh all right so let's hit enter to show let me show you to you so a prompt could be generate a list of popular gaming genres that would appeal to a wide audience on a youtube gaming channel uh, and we have the problem solved interesting and another prompt could be suggest unique and creative video series ideas for a youtube game, gaming channel and if i copy this prompt this could be used in a single scenario right because this is the prompt i cannot change it any further a lot and that's why it's called a simple prompt. Now, complex prompt, as I said, can be reused in various contexts. So, um, let me show you what we, what's an example of a complex prompt. Well, I will stop generating this. I'll copy this. Uh, and I will type in here something else. Um, I will type in um, condition. You must use placeholders in brackets such as shown in the following examples. So here I give a few examples of placeholders which are what makes a complex prompt a complex prompt. Um, uh, the, or let's say, the reason I need you to use placeholders is because I want the generated prompts to be reusable in various contexts. All right, so I will just hit enter and let's see what we will get this time. So here we have generate a list of popular gaming genres within the and we have a niche here probably it's a very it's a sub niche because the main niche is gaming but then you can have sub niches such as uh shooter games or uh open world games and so on then we have another uh, example uh so so far the only placeholders have been topic niche here we have genre as a placeholder which is okay theme oh god okay so these are examples of uh, placeholders okay got it now let's go ahead and do this one more time because i well, i would like to have some other examples um uh topic will be writing stories if you generate a list of pop prompts that could be could, could be used in ChatGPT for various reasons in the limit of the topic. An example of a potential probe prompt should or could be to generate story ideas. The prompt should solve multiple problems related or multiple should solve multiple tasks related to the initial topic. So here we have some placeholders let me add a few more let's hit enter and let's see what will we get this time generate a list of unique story ideas within the genre that explore themes of the topic interesting it's just creative plot twists for a story featuring a character's occupation named who has interesting so these are even more complex prompts i like these types of prompts because they tend to include more than one placeholder and now based on these complex prompts you can use them in various contexts as you wish uh and let me give you an example let's say you're out of ideas and you don't even want to you know think of other ways to 
change this prompt. So um, I will take this prompt. I will input it. I will input it here, and I will say, um, provide me with ten examples of this same prompt, but replace the placeholders um, with whatever is required. So let's see, suggest creative plot twists for a unique for a story featuring a detective named Sarah who has a photographic memory. Suggest a creative plot twist for a story featuring a chef named Marco who has an uncanny ability to taste emotions. Interesting. Suggest creative plot twists for a story featuring a time traveling historian named Alice who has a crippling fear of the dark. And as you can see, you don't even have to think of what to input in here. So this is why these prompts are called complex prompts, because they generate a prompt and then that prompt can generate multiple prompts. And then um, let's say, let's, let's look at some other prompts here. Uh, this one seems interesting. So you could, you could take any of these prompts and what you could do is simply hit enter and leave charge so basically we started we started with this with nothing no idea and now we have this which is amazing so really interesting plot twists i mean really interesting plot twists i love them so this is an example of how you can use complex prompts to generate these amazing ideas um uh, that's it for today's lesson i'll leave you to experiment on your own uh hopefully you found this lesson interesting because i did uh, i always do especially when i get to the prompt generator section all the time uh, and see you in the next lesson mm -hmm.